Yes, yes, y'all. It's Iconic. Back at it with another Diablo Immortal video for you guys. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the new offhand for Ice Armor. Um, it's going to conjure a storm around you. And I think it makes the funnest farming build for Wizard even better. All right, folks, let's take a look at the setup. And by the way, isn't my wizard sexy, man? Look at the flames underneath him. They better keep these cosmetics. But anyway, let's take a look at the essences here real quick um, around this build. Um, so we're going to be using Memory of Zhao Yu, um, the flaming orb circle around you. Uh, we're going to be transfiguring ourselves into pure a pure ball of lightning. Scorch radius increased by 29%. Arcane Torrent damage increased by 19%. Arcane Torrent now creates a chaotic orb that moves with you. Ice Armor now conjures a violent storm around you dealing damage. Lightning Nova damage increased and Scorch damage increased. And what this is gonna allow us to do here is um, you can hit anything except for the Lightning Nova. Um, as soon as you hit Lightning Nova, you won't be able to do any more skills. But these are all skills that you can move around with and they don't hinder your movement. So we can hit our Scorch, we can hit our Arcane Torrent, we can hit our Ice Armor, and then we can put the Lightning on. And we don't actually have to press any buttons to attack or stop an attack or aim an attack. We can just move and we're gonna be dealing damage as we move here. Um, I know this build has been <clears throat> displayed and done before in different forms and fashion. But now that we have this new ice armor essence, I think it's even better. And the reason I think so is this ice armor does crazy damage. It's uh, 94,672 damage to all nearby enemies. Um, it's going to be, I believe, as you're going over this eight seconds here that it'll be dealing that 94,000 damage. But when you think about any sort of crits that may be going off, um, any additional damage that we have um, we're getting 18 percent right the second this this really actually does some pretty crazy damage and when you combine it that all of these can be going off at the same time um, i definitely think it makes it easier to get the packs and just keep moving with this build i don't have my set for this one i just have the four piece seeds of sown i would go probably four piece grace with this one and a two piece vithus um, to be able to extend some of our buffs here. And Paragon Tree, I think we're going to go uh, with Vanquisher um, this time around for this one. I usually like Duelist too as well, but we're going to be taking damage um, with this particular build since we're going to have to get up close to enemies. And I think I, Weaver uh, actually would work and probably be a good choice here because I've seen, again, I don't want to keep beating a dead horse, but I've seen that something's broken, it seems like, with Weaver, so... Um, I think it actually could work in this scenario, but we're going to go with Vanquisher. And then uh, let's take a look here real quick. Um, real quick for your gems. Um, at this point, I mean, I don't think it's going to matter too much because um, we're going to have some things that don't necessarily correlate. But we do have at least one thing that can trigger our pain clasp um, as well as our seep and bile could trigger it too as well. Uh, Mother's Lament is really going to help with the burst uh, DPS for this build. Um, your Bottled Hope, we're going to be able to get a little bit more damage, a little bit more movement speed. Our Hellfire actually is pretty good in this scenario um, too as well, because when we get that, it'll be orbiting us too as well um, as a Scorch Ball. So yeah, let's, let's take a look at this in action. All right, so I think this is going to be pretty cool for farming. Um, so let's check it out. Yeah, you can, I mean, at least while everything is active, you can just kind of weave through things. Now, when you don't have everything active, the Lightning Nova by itself doesn't do a crazy amount of damage. but it does allow you to get that movement speed and to keep moving. You know, I probably should have used um, Electrocute for my primary. I didn't think about swapping that. I didn't really think I'd even really need to use my primary. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is pretty fun though. You know, it's, it's the combo. It's definitely the combo. By itself, individually, most of these skills maybe aren't great. The ice armor is pretty good, but it does have a long cooldown on it. But all together, uh, when you get some combos rolling. And it actually, it actually feels pretty good. You need at least two of the skills up at the same time, I would say. In my case, I do have Echo and Shade that can clean up some of the trash here. Yeah, but this is it. Uh, let me know what you guys think uh, about this build. Have you tried it out? Um, again, I know it's not necessarily new, but when you actually do factor in this new ice armor, um, I think it's pretty cool. But this will probably be the last uh, build that I have coming out on the wizard at the moment. I know I didn't give you guys too much. Um, I wanted to do some PVP and get into some more action. And unfortunately, life just got in the way a little bit. So um, I'll be moving on to the Blood Knight tomorrow. But I plan on bringing you guys plenty of content on that as we move forward. Let me know what you guys want to see. Comment. Do all that good stuff. Ultimately, I know you guys already know what to do. I don't really need to say it. Appreciate all the love, all the support, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.